Praise the Lord. We'll give it a few moments uh, just to uh, perhaps maybe give some folks some time uh, to jump back on here. Uh, amen. What a tremendous Sunday school lesson. A tremendous word that we heard from the Lord. Uh, I'll probably say this again. Uh, it's just a few of us on here right now, but I'll probably say this again. Uh, if you could take yeah. take that uh, Sunday school lesson yeah. and okay. share it to your page, uh, because everybody okay. needs to hear that. Uh, it, 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 it's the word of God. It's it's yeah. right, yeah. and uh, and people need to hear truth, uh, so our lives can be changed and and transformed. And the and the only way to really for it to happen is for us to uh, get connected with the truth and uh, that Sunday school lesson was the truth we are in a fight uh, for our souls and uh, we have to make sure that we do everything we can thank you uh, brother Rose for a masterful uh, lesson I really appreciate your ministry amen give it a few more moments and then we'll start praying here I will try to really uh, move through this swiftly and uh, let the Lord uh, speak what he put in my heart and uh, we'll move on. Amen. The beautiful thing today, this social media that we do have, we're able to uh, uh, stay warm, not take any risks, and uh, still be able to get connected to one another and the word of God. And uh, again, as I already been mentioned by Brother Rose, we, I give honor uh, to Pastor Morrison. I really appreciate uh, his, his leadership. Uh, he's a man of integrity and uh, very grateful and thankful uh, for him, uh, Bishop, in my life. And I appreciate that. Uh, my family, he's been nothing but good to us uh, since we've been here. So we thank God for him. Amen. Let's let's uh, and uh, let's let's pray, and uh, let's ask the Lord to help us here. Uh, in Jesus' name, while we're praying, let's just keep praying for the saints of God that the Lord would touch. Father, we're thankful. We appreciate you, Lord. Uh, we we're very blessed, Lord, to be connected to you, to be connected to your presence, O oh God. We're very blessed, Lord, to have a good church, God. Tremendous ministry, uh, tremendous leadership, Lord. Uh, good saints of God. We're very thankful uh, for that, Lord God. We ask you today, Lord, as we remain warm, oh God, that you would help us and protect us, God. If there's any sick, Lord, I pray, God, with your stripes, that you would heal them this day. Give them strength. Help them to uh, recover today, Lord God. Lord, help us to uh, take the word that we have just received, O oh God, from the Sunday school lesson. And Lord, let it not fall on deaf ears, but let it become applicable uh, in our lives, O oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus, as we move forward today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And again, uh, Brother Worlds, I give you honor. Amen. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you and your ministry. Amen. Ephesians uh, chapter number 2, uh, verse number 1 through 5. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 through 5. Amen. <clears throat> and you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air 
the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversations in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. This is the favorite verse here. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. Amen. Father, let this word seek deep down in our hearts today. We take authority over any spirit that seeks to oppose the word of God. Hallelujah. We need your help. We can't do it without you. Yes. And we praise you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. My subject this morning is, but God is rich in mercy. Amen. God is rich in mercy. Uh, again, I'm going to try to hurry up, but I am very uh, grateful for this scripture that uh, I am about to read to you. Uh, Lamentations chapter number three, verse 22 through 23, it says this, it is of the Lord's mercies yes. that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. It is because the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Amen. Because his compassion fell not. Amen. Uh, while I was a sinner, amen, and doing my own thing, I didn't realize it, but this is the truth. I got up to new mercy every single day. Amen. Even while I was in my sin, even while I was doing my own thing, even while, uh, you know, I, I forfeited the spiritual fight because I didn't show up to battle because I was spiritually ignorant. Amen. But yet at the same time, uh, the Lord was so merciful that every single day uh, I had the opportunity and the chance to repent of my sins and to find God somewhere. Amen. That's the beauty of our Lord. Amen. Even when we don't realize it, the mercy of God is always reaching out to us. And so I'm very thankful. Amen. For that today. Uh, 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 you know, the older you get and, and yet I'm still a young man. I'm going to probably hang on to that. Uh, for for a little while, when I get fifty, I'm probably gonna say that's the new thirty, okay? Uh, but but forty is the new twenty. Uh, I'm forty one, not forty. Forty is the new twenty, so I'm twenty one. Praise God. Uh, but the older you get, the more you look back and realize all of the opportunities that you missed. Amen. Uh, and this is this is why the older generation, praise God, tries to spare. Amen. A younger generation because they don't want to see them miss out on the opportunities. Right. They actually want to see them maximize. Amen. Every opportunity that come their way. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, not living. This is not necessarily living vicariously yeah. through the next generation, but hoping that they would take yes. advantage of what lies before them. Of course, I'm constantly, uh, as a parent, as a dad, always trying to uh, remind my kids of, of opportunities, uh, these young men, of, 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 of things that they can step into that, that uh, because of my foolishness, I did not step into. Praise yeah. God. Amen. But let me make this quick statement. This statement really is uh, very real to me, and that is, I could have been dead and gone. And, 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 and that's not hyperbole. That's not just trying to make up a beautiful testimony. Uh, that is the reality. Uh, I, 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 w I shouldn't even actually be here. Uh, um, many times of looking uh, 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 gun barrels in the face, looking uh, 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 a fire that comes from those barrels, uh, many, many times of looking at all of that stuff, amen, but, but yet God 
had mercy on me. Can anybody testify of this this morning? Amen. God had mercy, amen, on me. Praise God. I, I mean, we can truly say that God is rich in mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Greek word translated here, uh, rich, uh, simply means that, rich. Praise God. Amen. Our God is not broke. Our God is not looking for the next paycheck. Our God, amen, is not uh, just trying to uh, wait out some 401k plan. Our God, amen, is not uh, 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 trying to just uh, put him an emergency fund up. Our God is absolutely rich. He is wealthy. God is wealthy. And, and, and that's the beautiful thing. His mercy, amen, it never runs out. Praise God. The scripture says, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. Like, like I said earlier, I walked in times past by nature in the lust of my own flesh. Uh -huh. But today I can say, now sin shall not have dominion over me. Amen. I, I think that every single one of us born again believers now have the ability to make the, the, the bold declaration and say that sin shall not have dominion over me. Praise God. I was once a slave. Praise God. I was once a man, a slave to this world. But sin shall not have dominion over me. The Bible says when you receive the Holy Ghost, you actually do receive power. Amen. You receive the ability, amen, to live above sin. Now, as, as, as Brother Rose already been ministering so wonderfully, amen, without a prayer life, a consistent prayer life, amen. And I'm not talking about going through the motions. I'm talking about a real relationship with God, amen. We will not find it, amen. We won't have the strength that we need to actually overcome, amen, the sin that holds us captive sometimes. But if you got a prayer life, and you got a, a life that is devoted to the word of God. And you got a, a, a good conscience, praise the Lord, that holds the truth. You can say and make a bold declaration that sin shall not have dominion over me. Praise God. I was born again. Anybody been born again? Amen. Of the water and the spirit. I was born again. The Lord delivered me and he delivered me. And I know some of y'all did not have this problem, but he delivered me from a potty mouth. Praise God. The Lord delivered me from anger. Praise the Lord. Uh, I've, I've said it before, but, but for some reason I was always mad. I, I was I, I I had no reason to be mean and I was mean. Praise God. Uh yeah, this little fella. I had no reason to be mean, but I was yet mean. I hated people for no apparent reason. Praise the Lord. I was a victim of my environment. I was a slave to the street culture. I live with this mentality. You kill or you be killed. Praise God. Oh help me, Holy Ghost. And, and, and I'm very thankful today that that is not my mentality. Amen. I'm, I'm not trying to kill. Amen. To be killed. Praise the Lord. Uh, when you get into the kingdom of God, as Bishop does tell us, praise God, there are some things that we do have to unlearn. There are some things that we do have to put away. And the Lord has helped me, praise God, to change my attitude. The Lord has helped me to, amen, develop a new mentality. I, I often uh, use the scripture here, uh, Romans, where it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. In order for any believer to become strong in the Lord, they have to renew their mind through the ideas of God. They have to renew their mind through the principles of God. Uh, I like the way Brother Rose put it. Amen. I was, amen, destroying my own self 
Praise the Lord. And I didn't even really realize it. I thought I was actually doing good for myself, but I was destroying myself. Praise the Lord. Okay. Until I found myself in a place where I couldn't move and I had to be subjected to many people who cared nothing about me. Amen. I realized that I needed the help of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so God had to help me. Amen. When I came into the kingdom, number one, uh, this is not in the notes, but when you come into the kingdom, I don't care if you're born, amen, and you cut your teeth on the pew, I don't care if you just came out of the streets, one of the number one things you're going to have to do is learn how to fall in love with the word of God. I know that that may seem elementary, but that is one of the most powerful things, amen, for the believer. Because when Jesus dealt with the warfare in his time, he utilized what he knew. It is written. The only way to overcome, amen, this 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 world and the sin is to utilize and to have a love for this word of God. Anybody love the word? If you love the word, then you'll pick it up every day. If you love the word, then you'll look to it every day. Amen. And what happens is you be it becomes second nature. Praise God. This is where, as Bishop also always say, discernment kicks in at. Amen. A person that have been given themselves to the study, amen, of the word of God will always be able to some degree pick up that which is a lie. Amen. Amen. And this is why it's so important to begin to get a hold of the word of God. And so there's got to be that process of transformation once a person is born again. It takes time to de develop a centered, a Christ-centered mentality. Amen. But in the process of developing this mentality, we have to be careful that we do not become territorial. Amen. Because that's where I came from. Amen. It, we fought for territories. We fought for what we thought was ours and we didn't own it at all. We have to become careful of this territorial mindset. When, 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 when it comes to the kingdom of God, we have to understand this principle. Nothing really belongs to us. We are just stewards taking care of what God allowed us to Amen to have. Praise the Lord. I, I, I got it in my notes, but I was listening to something on the radio uh, just the other day while I was waiting for my wife in Target. And uh, there was a lady on there talking about, uh, Lord, I, I, I'll give you everything. And the Lord said, okay, I want your house. He, she, the Lord said, you said you'll give me everything. She said, oh, my house. Okay, Lord. He said, okay, I want your car. He said, you said you'll give me everything. He said, give me your husband. He said, my, she said, my husband, he, the Lord said, you said, give me everything. And uh, she said, that he said, the children. He said, I want the bank account. The Lord said, I want it all. Want it all. Amen. And, and when she finally gave it all to him, listen, the Lord said, now here, I want you to have this house. And would you please take care of it for me? I want you to have the car. Would you please take care of it for me? And this husband that you have, he's actually mine, but would you make sure that you take care of him just for me? Oh, I wish I had some help here today. Oh, and those children that you have, that bank account, that money, listen, everything that we have all belongs to the Lord. Praise God. Amen. And because it belongs to the Lord, we have to do diligence to make sure that we take care of it because we are stewards and have to learn how to care for the things that belong to God. If you got family around you, look at them and tell them you belong to God. Amen. You belong to God. We Praise God. God. And so you can't just do anything you want with your body. If you do, then you are violating the principles of the Lord. And the Lord can do far more with your life. Amen. And we know this. Then you can. Praise the Lord. And so we must take ownership. But we have to remember that he still owns the ship. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we cannot allow a carnal mind to creep in and cause us to think that we're something that we are not. 
For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Amen. Don't forget that we at all we all at some time conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath. When we're born again, as one old guy said, and I really appreciated uh, hearing him, when we are born again, uh, uh, now we don't just sin by nature. Now we sin by choice. Uh -huh. Praise God. Before we we're born again, amen, it was just our nature that was the <coughs> issue. But now when a person is born again of the water and the spirit, they are literally making a conscious effort, amen, oftentimes to fall, amen, into sin. This is why we have to do the best we can to make sure we're praying, make sure we're uh, uh, even fasting sometime, amen. Sometime we got to put our old self, amen, down away from the table, Amen. Just to let ourselves know, you ain't in control. We're trying to put God in control. Praise yes. God. Amen. Anybody can go sometime without eating until you start fasting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen. It's, it's possible sometime to, to skip four, uh, all the meals that day, but just proclaim a fast. Amen. Then you get up hungry. Praise God. Amen. And sometimes that happens. So, amen. We were all, we were all Amen. Sometimes conducting, walking according to the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of our flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath. There isn't one of us that had it made. We, we did all kinds of stupid things. Amen. Living according to our nature. And I, I throw this in here not to degrade or to tear myself down. I'm just going to uh, tell you the truth. Right now, you're listening to a man who graduated or got his GED out of the penal system. I made some dumb decisions. Had I stayed in school, had I stuck with what was going on in school, I wouldn't have had to get a high school education behind bars. I wish I had, amen, some help. Praise God. But, because I walked according to my fleshly desires. There were some things I missed out on, amen, that would have been a blessing to me and those around me today, amen. Please understand that what you do have the potential to impact people, not just at the moment of your life now, but years down the road, it could affect them. Praise God. And so it's important. I, I wish, I, I think I was talking to Brother Rose a little bit because he was talking about uh, his son going to school. Uh, I wish I had Votech while I was at, at in, in 10th grade. I wish I'd have took that Votech class and done what I needed to do to get that done. It was free. I didn't have to pay for nothing. It was a free, it was offered at the high school. Amen. M mistakes. How many of you look back and say, man, I wish I'd have done better. Praise God. Amen. I'm not feeling sorry. I just wish I would have took advantage of those situations back in the day. Praise God. But here's the beautiful thing. But God is rich in mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. As, as again, the bishop says, God does make up the difference. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a God who is wealthy in mercy. Praise the Lord. He never runs out of mercy. Amen. He never falls short of mercy. Praise God. And regardless of who we are or where we are, we can find the rich mercy of God. Amen. While humanity may hold certain things against me, God is rich and full of mercy. Amen. And here's what that means to me. What that means is, and, and listen, when I say this, I mean it. My past is behind me. Praise God. When I say that, I mean it. And I think, amen, there are some of us, amen, that really need to get a hold of this. My past 
is behind me. My future is bright. Praise God. If you notice, I'm, I'm going to try to hurry up and get done. If you notice in the text, I read to you that mercy and grace, they go hand in hand. Amen. It's almost impossible for us to have one without the other. Praise God. Amen. Here's a beautiful revelation. Mercy and grace met at Calvary. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Mercy and grace met at Calvary. Yes. At Calvary, blood was shed for my past and hope was given for my future. Hallelujah. Calvary is one of the most important things that took place in history. Amen. I, I, I Boy, I, I, I can't even dance, but I like to. I just want to give God a praise for Calvary. Oh, Amen. I, I, I wish yeah. so. This might seem like a simple message, but the reality is I thank God for Calvary. I thank God for the hope that he gave, not just to me, amen, but my co-workers, not just to uh, my co-workers, my children, not just, amen, my household. Yes. God, Calvary was for every single soul. Thank God for Calvary, amen, because of Calvary, nobody. This is rich mercy, I'm <laughs> sorry, but this is a wealthy God. We're, we're, we're seven plus billion people in the entire world can receive such mercy. That's wealth, that's a wealthy God, my God. What a God, hallelujah, amen. For, again, I, 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 I would love for some of us to catch that, 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 that mindset, praise God. And, and here's what Romans said. In Romans 5, and verse number 5, it says, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God, thank yes. you, Lord commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Praise God. To me, Calvary is not a sad day. To me, Calvary is an exciting day. To me, Calvary, amen, was a wonderful day. Thank God for Calvary because it made a way for you and I. Amen. I re I, I, now, I got to repent, right? Amen. Uh, uh, the, the religious world think just because Calvary took place that we're all automatically saved. No, uh, the devil is a liar. We got to repent of our sins. Amen. We got to quit doing all that crazy stuff. And yes, amen, Brother Rhodes, we got to live holy. Thank you, Lord. Help us to live holy. We got to have holiness in our eyeballs. I wish I had help here. We got to have holiness yes. in our ears. Amen. What that simply yes. means is, amen, these eyes and these ears belong to him. Amen. Is that all right to say today? Amen. Praise God. Because there is a world that doesn't want to hear this or doesn't want to teach that. But at the same time, God saved us from an untoward generation. Praise God. Amen. And so it made a way for me to repent of a <laughs> life of doing things my way. Yes. Now I get to walk. I get to. Amen. I get to. I get to walk get in to. the word of God. I get to be, amen, in a place where God uh, blesses me. I get to be a part of that. I get to be baptized. Mark 16 and 16 says, He that believeth, and is baptized, shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. You got to be baptized. Amen. We get to have the Holy Ghost. Uh, John chapter 7, 37 through 39 says, In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake ye of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, which they be, that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Hallelujah. Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. I have to preach the gospel. 
Amen. I know there are a few on here that belong, amen, a new birth, but I got to preach the gospel for those that may listen. Praise God. He died and was buried and he rose again. That means that everybody that comes to the Lord have to repent, have to be buried in Jesus' name, and have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's the gospel. And we've got to come out of this world and be separate, said the Lord. My desires cannot be unto this world. My desires must be unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Because hell is hot. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and I'm like you. I don't want to go there. Amen. I want to be rapture ready. The beautiful thing is, once we are born again, amen, we become new creatures. Yes. If any man be in Christ, we are new creatures. All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. The danger in constantly sitting in the house of God Amen. And constantly uh, frequently in the doors. Amen. And hearing good preaching and good teaching is it become mundane. It become, amen. Uh, I've heard that before. Amen. But the reality is every single day, if we're going to become new, the word has to be fresh and it has to be new in our lives. Come on. We're not preaching an old gospel. We're preaching a fresh gospel. We're not preaching an old-fashioned word. We're preaching a fresh word. This word, amen, it is right, and it helps all of us to become new. Amen. Not to act new. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Not just to go through the motion of doing, but to actually become Amen. A child of God to act because you can do praise. You can do worship and not be a worshiper. Right. You can do prayer and not be a prayer. -er. Come on. Amen. I want to be come. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. A, a, a part of the family of God. Hebrews 4, 14. I'm trying to hurry up, get done here. Uh, seeing then that we have a great high priest that has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our profession, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity, but, but was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Thank God for this mercy. Because of this mercy, I don't have to come with shame to my Father. I can come boldly or with confidence, knowing that God loves me enough not to shame me. Amen. But to pick me up. Amen. Hallelujah. And if I come with a broken and a contrite heart, in no wise will he refuse me. Thank God for this mercy. Because in this mercy, I can come boldly before the Lord. Now, I'm going to say a couple more things, and then I'm going to quit. Mercy deals with our past. All right? I should have been dead, but God. That's mercy. Amen. We should have been lost or been out of our mind, but God. That's mercy. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things that should have happened to us but God. Amen. Each of us could probably make this statement. We shouldn't be here because, amen, who, who are we? But God. That's mercy. He, he, but, he, you know, he did not give, amen, he didn't give us what we deserved. Instead, he provided for us a life that is way better. Amen. You know how it is. Uh, now, my kids, uh, these young men, they might have think that they might thought that they never had no mercy, praise God, uh, uh, because they got a, a, a lot of good chastisement as they were coming up, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, but the truth of the matter is they received more mercy than they realized. Amen. Yes, there were things sometimes uh, that uh, they, they, I, they never knew I knew uh, uh, because, you know, I'm just praying for them, praise God, uh, uh, and hoping that things would change and be different. Amen. That's mercy. As a parent, you're going to always offer some mercy. 
as a parent, you're going to always, amen, produce some mercy. Now, there's time for chastisement, but at the same time, there is mercy. In fact, the scripture says, be merciful, amen, because you want mercy, don't you? In fact, uh, 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 we use this scripture for money, but it's actually talking about mercy. In Luke, he said, give and it shall be given unto you. He's talking about mercy. Go check it out and read it. It's talking about mercy. And so we have to give mercy if we want mercy to come to us. Amen. And I thank God for mercy. Amen. And, and, and the beautiful thing is mercy and grace, they go together. Because mercy takes care of my past. Yes. There is therefore now no condemnation. no condemnation to them who walk. Let me find that scripture because my memory is, is, is messing with me. So let me read the scripture. Oh, hallelujah. Give me one second. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Amen. Thank God for this mercy. This mercy provides us with some hope. Because again, there are some things that we have done. There are some things that I ain't telling nobody about. Amen. That, that, that's in my past. But because of the mercy of God, I don't have to walk around in condemnation. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. I have been forgiven. Amen. Yes. Anybody been forgiven? I thank God for his forgiveness. Amen. And you know, sometimes, sometimes we bring stuff up to the Lord that the Lord is saying, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you saying? Because uh, I've already forgiven you for your past. Amen. But somehow, sometimes we keep reminding God of things that 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 we that God <laughs> had already forgiven us for. Amen. Get up and move on. Thank God for forgiveness. Thank God for mercy. Amen. Thank God for Calvary. Amen. I should have been on that cross, but mercy, as the song says, mercy said no. Thank God for that. Amen. Now, grace, on the other hand, it deals with my future. It opens the door for me to step into new places in God. It helps me, amen, to uh, uh, walk in the principles and the blessings of the Lord. Titus 2 and verse number 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Listen what it does. Teaches us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Grace does this. Grace helps us to look for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people. Amen. Zealous of good works. Yes. These things, he said, he wrote, amen, to exhort, to rebuke. Amen. Let no man despise mm -hmm. thee. Grace will teach you. Amen. We get mad sometimes at the preacher, the parent, or whoever the case may be. Mercy said no, but grace will provide instructions Grace will help you, amen, to be able to make it, amen, and do better, amen. Again, I, 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 there is no wisdom in the second mule kick. If I've been kicked, amen, and, and, and I have the ability to tell you about what kicked me, praise God, then you don't have to be kicked. That's, that's grace teaching you. <laughs> that's grace I got kicked, so you don't have to get kicked. Right. God wants us to be able to learn from the wisdom that he has given unto others. Amen. 
Again, that's right. I think it's important that we go to the right people, amen, to help us, amen, as we journey through this life. Listen, you don't have it made, amen. You don't have it together and neither do I. So I need some oversight to help teach me. That is the grace of God. I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. A real man of God which we have, is not your enemy. Amen. Amen. The truth of God's word, it is not your enemy. Amen. It is the grace of God that brings help and that brings hope, amen, to people that have no idea how to get where they need to go. Come on. We all at some time walked according to the nature, to our own nature and fleshly lust to the course, to the prince of, we dance to a different drum beat, but through a man of God, the Lord provided grace for us and told us you can change, you can turn around, you can walk away from that sin, you can overcome that struggle, you actually can be victorious, you don't have to live in your past anymore, you don't have to live with a mentality that does not deal with reality, you don't have to live there, you can live in the real world, praise God, and not only is there success Amen. When we make it to heaven, but there is promotion right here in this life. I don't know about you, but I appreciate yeah. the promotion that come from the Lord. Amen. I, I don't know about you. I appreciate the ability, praise God, to be blessed by the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. I remember the psalm said, amen. God is a shield and a buckler. This yes. is what it says. Yes. No good thing will he withhold to them that walk upright. Again, that is to the people that believe and walk righteously with the word of God. Come on, there is promotion that actually comes from God. Amen. There is promotion that comes from the Lord. That's the grace of God. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't, I, again, pardon the personal reference, but amen. I started just taping boxes up in shipping. I started, amen, just, just putting parts in a box and getting it ready to ship out. Amen. Just trying to, uh, uh, just getting into a company, trying to be connected. And, and, and about a year and a half later, amen. Uh, uh, I've seen many jobs come through a particular department and I never applied for that particular job, uh, those jobs. Uh, but, uh, this one job opened up and I, and I felt God, I felt like God wanted me to do it. Amen. Even if I didn't know how to do it, I felt like God wanted me to do it. And, uh, so I applied, amen, and got promoted. Amen. I thank God for that promotion. Praise God. Listen, yes. I'm trying to tell somebody living and being obedient to the grace of God. Not only will we have it, amen, a beautiful life to come, but God wants to promote us right here in this life. Amen. I say it again. I know it's been said, but God don't get no glory out of us being poor, pitiful Pentecostals. Come on, somebody. Amen. God get glory out of productivity, out of fruit production. Amen. And God wants us to do that. So how do he do that? He does that through good teaching and preaching. Amen. That's his rich mercy. Every time you step to the house of God and you hear some good lesson, some message from the Lord, that's God's grace trying to get you to step into something beautiful. Oh, but God. Amen. We have, ne'er one of us have it made. And we're going to always need the mercy and we're going to always need God's grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This this last scripture, and and we'll we'll close it. Thank God for His riches. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh yes. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. 
He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. Amen. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Check it. Here it goes. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank God for his abundant, his rich mercy. What a God. Mercy and grace will always be with us. Amen. And we thank the Lord for it. Thank God that we don't have to continue to walk in confusion, to walk in a a mindset that is totally outside of reality, but we do get to walk in truth. Thank God for that. Thank God for good preaching and good teaching. New birth, we are some of the blessed, most blessed people on the face of the planet, and I thank God for it. Amen. Uh, let's pray real quick as we get as we close this out. Father, thank you for your abundant grace and mercy. Thank you for the riches, Lord, of your goodness. God, you are a wealthy God. And, and Lord, we tap into our inheritance, Lord. We tap into the blessing, God, that we have as children of God. God, thank you for uh, uh, covering our past and enabling us to step into our future, oh God. Thank you for promotion. Bless the people of God. I pray continue to strengthen my bishop, God. As, Lord, he leads and guides us, Lord, and directs us. I pray for First Lady, Lord, that you would continue to have your hand on her. Thank you for the ministry. We ask you to touch our ministry and our leaders and every saint of God that is a part of New Birth. We're asking you, Lord, let them, Lord, tap into the grace of God. Let them tap into the mercy of the Lord. And, Lord, continue to have your way in every one of our lives. We thank you for helping us to be warned. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. Amen. God bless you. See you at 6 o'clock. Amen.